Hi everyone, it's Vicky from Minerva. In today's video, I have a roundup of our top 10 rucksack sewing patterns. So this video was inspired by this week's episode of the Great British Sewing Bee, um, which we're on to series nine here in the UK. It started last week, and this week was episode two. Uh, and in the um, technical challenge, the first challenge on the show, the contestants were challenged to make a rucksack. So we've been having a look at some of our best-selling and most popular rucksacks patterns here at Minerva and I've got a whole bunch of these patterns to share with you so if the show inspired you to have a go at making your own rucksack then hopefully I've got a pattern here that will um, spark you know your inspiration so first up let's get straight stuck into them so first up we have a pattern from Merchant and Mills and this is the um, Frankly Day Pack bag so this is a real it's a really fabulous pattern it's quite a new one in the range as well and there are just so many intricate details I think that's one of the fun things about bag making that you know one you don't need to kind of worry too much about size or fit like you do with clothing but often with bag making patterns there's just lots of details to sew so there's nothing usually you know that's that that's that complicated or difficult but you often have lots of steps in a bag making pattern so they can be really fun to get your teeth stuck into so this particular pattern like I say it has loads of details on it um, and it's designed you know it's great for using fabrics like oil skin um, or like mid to heavyweight cotton canvases or drills midweight denims that sort of thing and yeah I think this one is quite similar to the one that's been used in the show um, in that you know it's just lots of details and it's that really classic kind of uh, rucksack style. So next up we have three different patterns from Noodlehead. Now if you're interested in bag making I'd definitely take a look at the Noodlehead range that we have on our site at Minerva because they do so many amazing bag making patterns. Now the three I've got to share with you today are of course all backpack designs and the first one is called the range backpack. And this is like a fold over style backpack that has a zippered uh, front pocket. Again, lots of lovely details on this. Um, and I think it's it's just in quite a practical bag, but I think it's one that is lovely for using lots of scraps because um, like there's an example that's shown on the back of the envelope here where the bottom of the bag is made in a different color and you can use different you know, fabric for the lining, for the straps even. Really lovely design, that one. Then we have the next one which is called the making backpack and this one has different sizes in this one so there's a regular and a mini size which I really like that the idea that you get the option in this one and this is I would say a slightly more simple bag um, but it's great for customising it'd be great again in like a, a canvas or a denim a waxed fabric um, like an oil cloth would be lovely um, yeah and it also in this includes um, a bonus um, alternative front pocket pattern piece so you've got different options in that one as well and the last one we've got from Noodlehead this is the Buckthorn backpack and tote so in this pattern you actually get a backpack pattern and you also get a tote bag as well so that's nice that you get both included and these again this is uh, definitely more a simple um, rucksack or tote certainly compared to the last few that we've looked at so maybe you know quite a good one for a beginner to bag making this might be a good one to start with and Noodlehead do come with really good instructions as well you always get great feedback on Minerva about the uh, instructions so with this bag, they both have a front pocket um, that's like easy to access. So you can you know put your um, sort of smaller bits and bobs in there. Um, the backpack has adjustable straps, and it will fit um, like a tablet or a small laptop in there, or of course notebooks, uh, uh, notebooks and notepads. Um, so yeah, it's just a quite a simple but very classic style that one. Next up we have a design from an indie sewing pattern brand called Saw Girl and we love their patterns here at Minerva, some really fantastic styles but this one is the Brompton shoulder bag or backpack sewing pattern and again this is another simple one but it's a really classic style it looks great made up in denim on the envelope front here um, but yeah so it's a, a stylish bag in two styles so you've got the shoulder bag or the backpack and it's got loads of room in there to hold you know all 
all your essentials. Uh, it has an inner pocket, an adjustable strap and a buckle fastener. Uh, and again, it's great for all those kinds of fabrics that you think of for bag making. So oil skin, canvas, denim, twill. You could even make it in a lovely wool, uh, velvet even if it was a heavy velvet or a corduroy or a heavy cotton. Loads of different options with that one. Next up we have um, a pattern by, uh, sewing patterns by Mrs H and again this is another uh, indie company that's focused specifically on bag making patterns and they just create some absolutely gorgeous designs and I particularly love this one, I think it's gorgeous. So this pattern is called the Dainty Day Tripper, I love the name of, of this pattern and it converts from a backpack to a crossbody bag. So I love the idea that you can kind of, you know, it's got sort of more than one use. And I just, there's just something about this pattern I just really, really love. Um, it's, it's, I guess it's got a simplicity about it, but when you look closely, you can actually see there's lots of details on the pattern. Um, and yeah, it's just, I think it's really clever how, so it, it the, the backpack straps convert to this crossbody strap simply by lengthening them. Um, and yeah, you can use some really beautiful hardware on this pattern as well. It's just, yeah, really, really lovely design. Next up we have uh, another indie brand, and this is by Annie, and we have two different designs from this company. So the first one is called the Out and About Backpack, which I love the name of this one. Now this one I think is really, it's a little bit different to all the others, and it has lots of zip, well it has two big zips around the whole backpack. Um, and it just has an abundance of pockets. So if you're someone that really likes lots of pockets and lots of you know like individual compartments to organise and store all your bits and bobs, then you'll probably love this pattern. I imagine it's probably very good for you know if you're going on a, a hike or a long walk or something, and you know you need to take lots of supplies with you. And um, it also has adjustable uh, padded straps that come in two different lengths. So I think, yeah, that's a really good option as well. And uh, yeah, it comes in two different sizes in this pattern. There's a small or a regular size. So you've lots of different options in that one. But yeah, I think that's a really interesting pattern. And then the next one from Bayani is called Back At You, which I love the name of that one as well. Now this one, so it has secure zip closures. Um, it's like a smaller size, so it's perfect for like a small purse or a daytime, kind, you know, where you don't need to be carrying lots of supplies with you. It again has adjustable straps and uh, padded handles, which I think is a nice, you know, it's comfortable to wear then, isn't it? And this one actually has a magnetic, a magnetic flap on the front pocket as well, which is a nice little feature. So yeah, they, they kind of... Um, you know putting this one across as a travel friendly like mini backpack so if you just want a small project to get you started this could be a nice pattern um, yeah and I just love the padded handles on those and that's a really lovely feature the next pattern we've got now this is one from Simplicity this is number 9518 and this is a really good kind of like basic rock a rucksack so um, you know it's the sort of traditional shape it has a little handle on the top zip all the way around and then it has a zipped pocket on the front and then two pockets on the side that are kind of just like open pockets and I really love how on the envelope they've shown it made in like a, what looks like um like a canvas and a, like a faux leather kind of fabric but they've also done another version that's made in like a clear vinyl, which we do have available on the site uh, here at Minerva. And it just looks so different made in the clear vinyl. It's brilliant. Um, you know, I think that would be great for a child's bag, maybe. Um, it's just fun, isn't it, just to be able to see the contents inside the bag. So that's another really great option. And then the last pattern I've got to share with you today, so this is from uh, another indie brand called Sally Tomato. And again, these are a company that specialise in bag making patterns. They do some really gorgeous styles. And I've just picked out one of their backpack patterns um, to share with you today. Um, and this one is called uh, the Simple Backpack. And it is well described. It is a, it is a very beautiful, simple um, sort of like understated, elegant kind of style. And I love that it has quite a boxy shape with this one. And like the top of the rucksack um, is sort of on an angle that's zipped all the way around. And it has a zipped pocket on the front as well. Handle on the top again. It looks very roomy. And if you've, you know, you've lots of stuff to be carrying, I think this could be a really good one. And um, it also includes three sizes in the pattern envelope as well. 
Um, yeah, and it's saying here it's designed to avoid using bias binding or a drop in lining. So it's got quite an interesting construction as this one. So it might be something, you know, even if you've made lots of, bag, loved, lots of bags before, you know, this one might be uh, an interesting one for you to get your teeth stuck into. So that's all 10 patterns I had to share with you today. So if, if you are like us and you watch the great British sewing bee last night, um, you know, you might be inspired to sew your own rucksack and hopefully these pattern suggestions will give you lots of inspiration on different patterns that are available where you could sew your own. As always, I'll tag all the patterns I've mentioned below and um, below the video on Minerva, so you can just click on those links and you'll be able to find all the details on these patterns, the pricing, uh, the size details, and of course, if anyone in the Minerva sewing community has made these patterns and shared them with us on the site, you'll be able to see their versions. And uh, yeah, it's just always so inspiring, isn't it, to be able to see what other people have been making, what fabrics they used, um, yeah, and it can just give you loads of ideas. So it's definitely worth having a look on the website at those. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Do let me know in the comments, has the sewing bee inspired you to have a, um, a go at bag making? Are you already you know, into bag making big time? Have you made lots of bags before? Have you ever made a rucksack? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Thank you very much for watching today and I'll be back again soon with another video filled with fabric, sewing and pattern goodness.